out sold out Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. A Pac-12 Big Ten matchup between two ranked teams. The number 16 UCLA Bruins take on the 23rd ranked Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Sean McDonough. Happy to have you with us for one of the biggest games of this young college football season to date. And as the UCLA Bruins try to defeat Nebraska for the second year in a row, they do so while dealing with tremendous tragedy. The death of their teammate, sophomore wide receiver Nick Pasquale, who was struck by a car and killed early Sunday morning while walking along a street in his hometown of San Clemente, California. Obviously, it's been a very difficult week for the UCLA football program. Both teams today will honor Nick. With more down on the field, here's Shannon Spain. Well, Sean, some things are bigger than sports, and that will be on full display here today. As you just mentioned, both teams honoring Nick Pasquale. The UCLA players and coaches will have a number 36 patch over their left chest. That was Pasquale's number. The Nebraska players will also have a number 36 sticker on their helmet. After the coin toss, there will be a moment of silence. At that time, the Nebraska student section will release 200 gold and blue balloons. And just another example of how much Pasquale meant to his players, they have designated a locker inside their locker room for Pasquale. It's something that they will continue to do the rest of the season at their away games. Now, Pasquale had only played in one game for this Bruin organization, but Jim Morris said he was so respected, so loved, and that his team takes comfort in knowing that Nick would want them to play on. Sean? All right, Shannon, I'm joined by Chris Spielman. Jim Moore was so relieved that Nick Pasquale got a chance to live his dream of playing in a football game for UCLA. He played in the game against Nevada, their only game so far this year in the blowout victory. And Jim doesn't know how his team's going to respond today. These are young men, many of them dealing with something like this for the first time in their lives. You know, unfortunately, he had this experience back in 1990 in the game. Mike Utley had a spinal cord injury, and our team didn't know how to react. In 92, my roommate, Eric Andelsek, was hit, killed tragically. Two things can happen according to my experience. One, you want to honor the young man so much, you want to play so hard that sometimes you lose concentration and that takes over. Or the positive effect that can happen is that the team can honor Nick by how they play, how they concentrate, and how they focus. And just talking with Coach Moore this week, Sean, I think the team is ready to go and they'll have that galvanizing effect and play well. And while we were away, the sellout crowd here at Lincoln did observe a moment of silence for Nick Pasquale. Now that's class. Section released 200 blue and gold balloons in honor of Nick. As Jim Morris said about Nebraska, this is a very classy program with a classy fan base and you would expect nothing less from the Nebraska faithful than the respect that they've shown today. Well, obviously, you look at college football and all the headers on the field are all part of one family. Boom to the hay, all you sports fans, with you, the individuals, part of the collective. Welcome to One Man Sports Rant. I am and always have been your host, Will, the alternative ESPN Sports Thrill. Talking uh, kickoff remembrances, one that Nick Pasquale, Nebraska, UCLA. Just a brief little post-game, post-event, whatever we're covering, show. See him right there, that little tribute UCLA is going to pay him for the rest of the year. My big head doesn't block it out the whole time. Have to shoot from this side of the set, always, unfortunately. All right. Video highlights courtesy to ESPN and ABC, the respective universities. And do I have to? The NCAA. Everything else to the OMSR. All right. So just a brief, you know, shout out to why Nebraska is like the classiest place to play when you're the opponent, and also the toughest, so it's kind of paradoxical there. But over the years, we've all heard, I especially, about visiting teams commenting on Memorial Stadium there in Lincoln. So kudos to all you out there in Nebraska. Hey, you know, a high corn diet, <laughs> I'm all for that here at the Almas Art. Great weightlifting. But on a serious note, you know, it's just another one of them. Yeah, I'm not fond of the term or phrase tragic or uh, senseless death as opposed to a death that makes sense. No, it's a, it's a tragic death. And this is why the Omasar always closes with catchphrase. It has from the word go. 
No silly DUIs while you're out there. He's out there early in the morning. You know the driver probably there was some alcohol involved. I have not read up on the details. Maybe some of you UCA LA alum in and around here where the old Masari is, West San Fan, Val. We're over the hill. Can't uh, educate the rest of us on that. He could probably just look it up. Been really busy with politics and, and other college football. But yeah. No silly DUIs while you're out there, people. Sports and alcohol, they are joined at the hip. All right, so it's going to be a long day. If this is any port hand, right from the word go from this game, 9 o'clock Pacific, Omasar is on it. All right, thanks for watching. Later days and more signature. Later.